Hello boys and girls, you're joining Benny Chaz uh, on the launch pad here. It's uh, a nighttime takeoff uh, and this is the latest, or will be the latest, in the next series of um, Benny Chaz uploads for the Blue Coconut family. Sticking with the Kerbal Space Program, um, I, my brother and I have been working on the space race, but uh, we haven't actually uploaded a video of that in quite a while. Uh, mainly because every time we took off, we forgot to open fraps. Uh, so we haven't actually got any more recordings for you. Um, I have made it to the moon and back, uh, but I need to record myself doing so in order to prove it to the world. Um, while I'm doing that, uh, I'm trying to remember that, I'm also starting another project. And this is to create the BFSS, that's the Blue Coconut Family Space Station. Uh, that's it, which is uh, orbiting round and round uh, on this uh, polar orbit here. I'm just currently killing time. Uh, this is us here. Um, we are basically building a gigantic space station using parts sent in uh, from members of the Blue Coconut family. Uh, this on the launch pad is the next stage. I've already built the core of the space station. Uh, this is the next stage. This is courtesy of Ms. Spark Evo. He's been doing the back to basics um, for <coughs> excuse me for Minecraft. And this is um, core one of it will probably be two by the finish of things by the by the end of things. Uh, core one of two. This is a power core. Uh, it's literally just a section full of solar panels. Right. Uh, I'm waiting for another couple of minutes until I come underneath this uh, line here. Um, so I won't keep you waiting. I will see you after takeoff. Okay. Welcome back. Uh, we are just coming up underneath uh, the orbit. This is going to be a uh, southerly departure. Uh, most of, uh, well, in fact, all of my other missions have taken off and then at uh, 12, uh, between 8 and 12,000 meters we've uh, pitched north um, because we're on the dark side um, today we're going to be taking off to the south so here we go trail of smoke that it leaves behind. Um, little details like that. Just uh, not too quite nicely, I think. Let's engage RCS. Right, let's get it here. Later. Let's, uh, let's flip over here. Looking good. Let's try and stress it out a little bit. Okay, right. I've got a few maneuvers I need to make, so I'm not going to keep you waiting. It's essentially just going to be the standard getting into orbit. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay. So that's um, not quite the trajectory. Uh, the uh, oh, it's not the same orbit that we want, but that's nothing that can't be fixed. That is the beautiful thing about these. So we can just. But I want to get a little bit outside the. I uh, want to get outside the guy's orbit. Oh, the guy's orbit, the space station's orbit. So I can play catch up. Well, so he can catch up with me. Because as you can see, I'm uh, in front of him by the equivalent of about a quarter of the width of the uh, the Earth of Kerbin. Uh, so that's something that I'm going to need to uh, amend. Doesn't take long though. Even though I do say so myself, that is one damn good looking spacecraft. Just looks like it's... 
Actually, it looks a little bit like the Sun Probe out of Thunderbirds. I know I mentioned Thunderbirds a lot, but that's quite scary. If I retract these panels a second... That is... Oh, and even the panels facing forward. This is something I need to call my brother in for. Michael! Oh, uh... Alright, while I uh, marvel at my own accidental design, I will be back in a moment. Right, I'm back, boys and girls. Um, I am still fascinated at this. I guess that's just the power of the subconscious. Um, at building that, that's... Um, I'm going to extend the panels so it doesn't look quite as much like... Uh, my childhood. Right, um, I'm coming up 3... Uh, 3.45 until my burn. Um, there's not much for you guys to see. I'll give you a quick rundown as to what's going to happen. They're the same um, if you guys have, wa have watched uh, Scott Manley or HOC Gaming. Um, it's essentially a tutorial there on how to do it, but uh, for those of you that haven't, welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, and um, basically what I'm going to do is, because the uh, space station is travelling around this blue, uh, excuse me, this grey line here, I want it to catch up with me. So I'm going to uh, widen, broaden my orbit so mine's, I have a, a, a higher orbit than the space station. And that will allow the space station to catch up. And as it gets close, I will uh, shrink my orbit back down and uh, rendezvous. And that is where you will see me next. So until then, ciao. Right, getting closer now. Uh, and the RCS uh, was working isn't now. Not too sure what's going on with that. Um, I don't know. All I know is it was working until uh, a second ago. Never mind. So we're at two kilometers and as we get a little bit closer it's going to start that burn. That'll do. Right, let's null this uh, velocity here. And you can see the space station starting to come into view now. Okay, there we go. So, let's swing her around and fly her towards. Space station. I don't understand why my RCS doesn't want to work, or it does and then doesn't want to work. I don't. Oh, it is. Is that? It is shooting. It's just not shooting out the front. Okay. Right. Where'd she go? There she is. Swing round just so I can better know these controls. Let's bring us in. Nice and steady. This is this takes a long time, so I'll see you guys shortly. Hello, um, I have found the fix to the problem. Not 100% sure. It was obviously a key command that I didn't realise we had, and uh, that is uh, I use caps lock as a uh, control key for fraps. Unfortunately, it's uh, exactly the same as uh, dis it seems to disable the uh, the RCS. But hey, hey, there we go. Right, now we're going to move to docking mode. And because we're within 100 metres... Ah, oh, that's how it's done. Okay. Or so of that. 
as soon as we get within 100 meters, I will be ditching the, uh, the service module here and uh, doing everything else uh, via RCS. So we're coming in very close now. You can see the, uh, the space station ish from where you are, I believe. He says. <laughs> Let's do some last minute adjustments. Hold there. Okay, right. Farewell service module. Why did I click decouple? Because at this stage, the last thing I want to do is accidentally double tap to the next stage. Um, because, as you'll see shortly, uh, that would uh, be very problematic indeed. So right now we are just going to fly towards the space station. Not quite Scott Manley. Uh, <laughs> he does this far better than uh, than myself, but I suppose it's just practice. Um, so when I get within 50 meters or so, in fact, let's start to null this velocity now. I won't be doing a lot of talking in this this process, which is uh, a surprise for me, I know. Shock horror. Right, one meter per second at the moment, and what you can see is my space station, the core. Now, what I actually want to be doing here is coming up uh, from underneath where there are docking ports. So I want to fly down, loop round, and uh, bring this in underneath, he says. Uh, I probably should have thought about positioning um, when I got closer, uh, before I got this close to the space station. Uh, right, let's see if I can zoom out and have a good look. Uh, so, we're going to have the crew port coming out. So, we are going to want the solar panels, because those ones at the front are temporary. Right. All these ports are open. So, he says, as he swings this thing around, this is going to go into the side ports there. to do is make sure I don't run out of monopropellant but there's no no danger of that at the moment. I'm using SAS at the moment just to keep me pointing in the vague-ish direction which I'm actually going to change temporarily just while I pivot up now. As you can see And uh, stopped 
right before that uh, panel caused me any dramas. So I want to go left a little bit here and up before now coming forward. Right, let's, let's rotate round. Those of you at watching at home thinking this is uh, making a hash of it, I probably am, to be honest, I probably am. Certainly not, uh, not NASA quality. Um, but give a guy a break, I've just finished um, killing all my Kermans by trying to take a plane to the moon. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm making progress. Um, again, I refer to Scott Manley a lot, um, but I've actually used a lot of his videos as um, kind of a, a how-to, and uh, I hope he gets enjoyment out of uh, people doing so because uh, his video on docking has been invaluable or oh, just even to the orbital rendezvous and HOC as well right here we go now yeah sorry I digress um, he mentioned getting hold of a add-on that was actually essentially a mini docking port oh and here's Scotty himself. Come on, Benny. It's not... Well, it is difficult. It's orbital rendezvous in space. It uh, takes years of hard training. Come on. Don't fall at the final hurdle. Looking good. Stand by for a little jolt. I'd imagine the space station will move quite a lot in a minute. Getting close, and then they should just grab a hold. Oh, that's horrific. Mr. Gehring, you've... You've designed a... Shit. You've designed a space rocket, sir. That can't dock to the bloody space station. Okay, so this has now essentially become... A, uh... A rescue mission. I'm going to have to quickly fly a... Right, let's, uh... Let's try with the rotation thing again, shall we? Right, so. Over, round we go. Careful not to hit that. Round and round and round. Anybody tries to say like a teddy bear, I will kill them. Right. Now we want to hold steady to this thing. as steady as we can. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. How did I not see that in the uh, in the design docking port that won't fit onto the docking port because these solar panels are in the way? That's that's not a massive problem. Well, it is quite a large problem actually, uh, but it's not gigantic. The space station is still taking power, uh, and my 
these two don't seem to be. Drifting too far. All I need to make sure that I do is uh, null all um, velocity between the two of them so that they're travelling at the exact same speed. Ah, what fun, what fun. Right, um, now, set as target. Uh, we are on the exact same orbit, so that's that's not a big problem. That's good. Um, yeah, we've got absolutely zero relative velocity. So what I'll need to do. Are you sure? It just looks it looks like they're moving. Um, yeah. So what I need to do is a uh, hash job. Um, a repair job. Get a uh, get another one of these sections of fuselage in with a docking port. Uh, attach that docking port to there, and then that one into this space stick. <laughs> I can't believe that's happened. Okay. Um, right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Next episode, we actually make it work like it's supposed to. Ciao for now.